In the depths of the Xenomorph universe, a dark and enigmatic substance looms, captivating the imaginations of those who dare to delve into its mysteries. Known as the Black Goo, this potent mutagenic substance, manufactured by the extraterrestrial engineers, holds within it the power to create and destroy life forms with equal ferocity. Encased in specialized containers, its volatile nature poses a significant threat to any organism it touches. Its very essence is a dual-edged sword, capable of both birthing abominable creatures and serving as a deadly biological weapon. The origin of the black goo can be traced back to the engineers who crafted this enigmatic substance. Motivated by their desire to manipulate and shape life, they developed the black goo as a means to create and experiment with different life forms. However, the true extent of their intentions and the reasons behind the creation of such a dangerous substance remain shrouded in mystery. Upon contact, the black goo exhibits catastrophic effects on organisms. Incompatible hosts are instantly killed, while compatible hosts undergo aggressive mutations, transforming into ferocious creatures known as anathema or abominations. The pathogen can also lead to the gestation of parasitic organisms within the infected host, resulting in the birth of hybridized predatory creatures called neomorphs. A black goo can manifest as a liquid with a viscous consistency, but when released into the atmosphere, it transforms into a deadly aerosol, proving fatal to any living entity within its range. Its mutagenic capabilities are responsible for the birth of horrifying creatures such as abominations, neomorphs, and various other abhorrent beings. The effects of the black goo are far-reaching and extend beyond human hosts. The hammerpeds, aggressive creatures with acidic blood and regenerative abilities, are examples of the pathogen's effects on worms found in the Engineer Temple. This highlights the broad spectrum of organisms that can be transformed by the black goo, making it a threat to various forms of life. One of the most intriguing aspects of the black goo is its interaction with reproductive systems. Exposure to the pathogen caused mutations in Charlie Holloway's reproductive system, leading to the impregnation of his partner, Elizabeth Shaw, with a trilobite. This incident raises intriguing questions about the substance's influence on reproductive systems and its facilitation of abnormal conceptions. The mechanisms and long-term implications of these effects remain a subject of speculation and further investigation. While the black goo exhibits accelerated healing effects on some hosts, individuals with pre-existing conditions, such as cancer, experience expedited deterioration. Additionally, the pathogen's impact on healing and regenerative abilities is evident in cases like Francis Lane. An astrobiologist who unintentionally unleashed his construct assistant Eldon after injecting him with the pathogen during a salvage mission on the moon LV-223. Francis became intrigued by the black goo found on the moon, leading to the discovery of a crashed alien ship and the subsequent mutation of the environment. In an attempt to find a cure for his cancer, Francis used Eldon as a filter, resulting in Eldon's violent mutation and pursuit of Francis. Throughout their harrowing journey, Francis's actions and decisions proved to have dire consequences. Eventually, Francis met a tragic demise, his body succumbing to the accelerated malignancy caused by the black goo. As his entire body transformed into a mass of tumorous growths, Francis made peace with Eldon and urged him to make use of his extended life. It was a poignant and heartbreaking end for a character driven by his desperation for a cure and his pursuit of knowledge. The Black Goo's destructive potential has attracted various factions within the Xenomorph universe, each seeking to harness its mutagenic properties for their own purposes. The Union of Progressive Peoples, for instance, conducted human experiments with the Black Goo under the Dark Star program, intentionally mutating test subjects into anathemas. These anathemas were considered as potential battlefield vanguards against the UPP's adversaries, showcasing the weaponization potential of the black goo. The cycle of mutation in anathemas can be divided into four stages. Stage 1, Vitiate or Afflicted. During this initial stage, individuals are exposed to small doses of the black goo. Symptoms include excessive tearing and paranoid behavior. Upon close inspection, small tapeworm-like creatures may be visible swimming in the victim's eyes or bodily fluids, representing mutations of the host's microorganisms. Stage 2, Ague or Febrile. In the ague stage, the vitiate becomes increasingly feverish and experiences intense pain. 
Their eyes darken and black varicose veins start spreading across their body. Skin tissue begins to decompose, leading to visible signs of deterioration. Stage 3, Lucis or Freak. At this stage, the victim undergoes a drastic mutation and transforms into a disfigured and bestial creature known as a Lucis. Their body becomes greatly deformed, and they are reduced to an animalistic husk driven by sheer rage. Although some anathemas retain limited intelligence, they primarily rely on basic instinct and can use simple tools. Lucis anathemas are highly aggressive and attack anything they encounter. Stage 4, Nocuous or Terminal the final stage of an anathema results in total disintegration. Depending on the level of exposure to the black goo, victims can be immediately rendered nocuous. The skin tissue blackens completely and flakes away, while the bones grow brittle and can snap off. Eventually, the victim's cell membranes burst, leading to the disintegration of their DNA into the atmosphere. This disperses large amounts of airborne pathogens, infecting any life forms in the vicinity. Notable cases of anathema infection include Sacrifice Engineer This is the engineer we can see at the beginning of the movie in Prometheus. He consumed a large quantity of the pathogen and immediately transformed into a stage 4 anathema, resulting in its death. Charlie Holloway As an archaeologist on the USCSS Prometheus expedition, Holloway had his drink spiked with the black goo by the android David. He exhibited stage 2 symptoms before being incinerated by Meredith Vickers to prevent a breach in quarantine. Sean Fayfield, another member of the Prometheus expedition, Fayfield was exposed to the black goo and mutated into a stage 3 anathema. He subsequently attacked other crew members before being killed. Eldon, a synthetic construct on the Drion crew, Eldon was injected with the pathogen by Francis Lane on LV-223. He mutated into a large white humanoid with deteriorated sanity, seeking vengeance against Francis. Mutated Yatja, a blooded Yatja hunter was bitten by Eldon, leading to exposure to the black goo. Within minutes, the hunter underwent a painful mutation and transformed into a bestial and cannibalistic behemoth. These notable cases illustrate the devastating effects of the black goo and the varying stages of mutation that result in the emergence of anathemas. The dark and unpredictable nature of the pathogen makes it a formidable and dangerous entity in the Xenomorph universe. The environmental impact of the black goo is a significant concern due to its ability to alter different beams and ecosystems. When released, it causes rapid and irreversible changes to flora and fauna, destabilizing ecosystems and leading to the extinction of native species. This highlights the far-reaching consequences of tampering with the black goo and the risks associated with its uncontrolled release. The use and manipulation of the black goo raise moral and ethical dilemmas. Its destructive potential and unpredictable outcomes challenge the boundaries of scientific exploration and experimentation. The quest for knowledge and power clashes with the responsibility to safeguard life and preserve the natural order. The black goo serves as a stark reminder that tampering with forces beyond our comprehension can have dire consequences. One of the most intriguing controversies surrounding the black goo is its connection to the xenomorph species. The substance, particularly the variant found in Xenomorph Queen's royal jelly, is implicated in the creation and development of xenomorphs. This raises questions about the origin and purpose of the xenomorphs and their relationship with the engineers and the black goo. The interplay between these elements adds layers of complexity to the Xenomorph universe and deepens the intrigue surrounding the black goo. In the Xenomorph universe, the black goo emerges as a haunting enigma, shaping destinies and altering the course of life. Its destructive potential, mutagenic properties, and role in the creation of anathemas and xenomorphs make it a formidable force that demands caution, respect, and further exploration. The Black Goo serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the delicate balance between creation and destruction, and the inherent dangers of tampering with the fundamental forces of life. As long as the mysteries of the Black Goo remain unresolved, its true potential and purpose will continue to captivate the imagination and fuel the ongoing fascination with the Xenomorph universe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. We love hearing from our viewers, so please leave a comment. 
and share your ideas for future videos. Thanks for your support, and we can't wait to see you again in our next video.